Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome to the channel if you're new, and welcome back if you're already a subscriber. So we're playing Subnautica Below Zero, and this video is by request from the last video I made on my base build. <clears throat> and uh, I appreciate all the likes and the new subscribers and all the comments. Thank you everybody uh, for all the support. It helps my channel grow. And uh, let's get into this. So what you're looking at now is uh, the starter base design that I uh, came up with here and I will leave a link for the video um, on that uh, but just a, a simple design here uh, with some purpose uh, for future endeavors so uh, that's here at the Delta dock which is our starting point and let's dive into the water and we'll take you on to where we're gonna be building this base so if you're at the Delta dock um, then you're going to just hang a right right off the dock here and follow it here. If you're not sure where the Delta dock is, I'm sure you can find an awesome video out there that'll tell you how to get here. Um, there's great resources and uh, my video can tell you kind of how to um, get yourself you know, set up so that you can actually go out and find a place where you really want to um, set up your, your base. So we're hugging the wall here and it comes to this cliff here and you might notice that there's a shipwreck and maybe some new animals and we're just going to keep to the right of that ship over there and we're going to head kind of along this darker purple grass. So you have the changes. This is the edge of the, the, the biome change right here. So we're going to be looking at this plant here and we're going to just go down this little valley next to it. Now people in the comments had mentioned that uh, there was these guys and yeah they hang out a lot and you might run into one of them uh, but if you kind of just go on down this this way uh, real quick they they tend to not bother you so for the purpose of this video I decided to just do this in creative mode I pre-built what it looked like from the original video but this is one of the most beautiful biomes in this game and uh, you know if you're gonna be moving here from the Delta dock bring all your stuff here and uh, put it in this little guy so you would have your uh, bioreactor down below your plants and various other stuff the the glass will be used to decorate this small thing and house it as you figure out where all that glass and everything is going to go in here. So let's break this guy down. So once we get to this location here, we're going to be looking at this section right here because this is where we're going to be putting down the first foundation pieces to do the build. So. I'm going to position myself right over here and we'll put the first foundation piece and what I'm aiming for is um, about you, you want it to be on this side of the plant um, but above the plant um, so it can be like touching right here on this corner here and I'll kind of show you what I mean by this so let's start with the first piece I'm going to aim it kind of up higher and in the middle of that vent and what looks like wax I'm going to start to draw myself backwards and kind of lower it just a little bit. And so we're above that mushroom right there and we're in between the vent over there. So let's put it down. Okay. Now we may or may not get um, the ability to place another one next to it, um, but we can worry about placing all that stuff later. Uh, so, the next thing we're going to do is place the large room. And when we do this, it's going to be difficult to see. So you can basically see nothing. So your reference point is going to be the platform foundation in front of you. And if you just pull up, you can see that it's lined up directly. And you're really only going to get a couple options. You're going to be over here, or you're going to be over here. And for this, we're going to stay on this side, and we're going to put that down. Alright, so now that we have <laughs> the, the starting point here, um, 
what we can do is, and you can move this around, so this is not, this is just kind of how I did it. If you moved it slightly over a little bit more, we could maybe have enough room to put in one more um, platform there, but uh, let's just keep going. So to finish this off, we need to do a few tests to make sure all the pieces are going to fit. So there's going to be uh, one test right here with the bathroom and shower. Okay, so that works. The next one's going to be over here for our grow room. scanner room all right so far so good <clears throat> so now let's swim on over here we're gonna put up the aquarium and then we're gonna connect it to um, the base so that we can run the control room over the top so let's build that right here top and now what we need to do is we need to connect this so let's put in I think it's this one all right and then we'll connect here and I'll do it with glass just you know so you guys can all see through it and then we'll we're gonna put a beam here in the middle and then run another hatch going this way so now we can basically put the control room right here and now oh wrong way There we go. All right, and now we can put the moon pool on. All right, now we basically have everything we need with the the base as far as like the compartments go. So. Um, what I did for mine was I had a small little landing area over here. Now, I did some testing with this, and it's really just going to depend on what it allow, what it'll give you. Uh, so, if you put the foundations first, then it won't let me place the moon pool. Uh, so, um, there's give and takes, and um, you know there's monsters you know around you um, while you're working on this so definitely want to keep your eye out and just kind of um, go at your own pace to figure out what's going to work and what's, what's not so if I try to put down one of these anywhere it'll let me go right here so let's just put that one down there and see where else it will take out so it'll let me go there oh it'll let me go there so is that lining up with where I want to be? No, it's really not. So we'll take that one down and <clears throat> I'll just leave this one here for now. And so, be you know, before building the entire thing, you know, you can maneuver this slightly. So you have some room, if you were to build the same thing just slightly over this way 
and fit that room, which is the row room, you know, where the bathroom is, and then have the bathroom be out this way, you might be able to make it work. Oh, maybe not. So anyhow, yeah, I'm I'm winging this one. You know, I winged it. You know, when I when I built it, I never expected the video to blow up, and uh, I'm glad that everyone appreciated it. So I wanted to do a, at least one video to show how I made it. Let's put a hatch on this guy, and we'll go inside. So welcome to your new base and now you're wondering this place is huge what the heck am I gonna do with all this room and uh, one thing when I'm planning out how to design my base is I'm actually kind of thinking about like how I would be when I you know in, in real life like how is my base gonna be uh, cool comfortable and efficient you know and when I come in um, I'm gonna have stuff, so I'm gonna want to have you know some of like my you know easy to do things um, in an area right off the main door. And uh, so if I'm just coming in to drop off some stuff, I can do that. And then make, uh, or if I'm coming in to scan some materials, I can do that too, and then head out. So I'll go over just uh, some of uh, the floor design that I had in my original base. It might help you. Let's go over here and build some walls and so my first wall I have right here and then I built in this small section here so that oh, so that I can have an area for um, just when it came through the door so that's your first room right there and this room oh we don't have, let's put a glass top on this place, guys. What are we thinking here? There we go. So that's what this is going to look like when you're just hanging out in here. So it looks looks awesome. All right, so that's our first um, section there. And, you know, my idea was, you know, that there would be a table here, which would probably be your coffee table or your... Uh, little stand on you know or whatever when you come in through the door maybe you put yours on a chair you know um, but, you know either way you know that's where my thought process is going with this so you know I'm gonna come in I want it to be you know a nice warm welcome too so let's put you know some decorations some plants and some color in there and let's see what this looks like so if I just go through here and I add a shelf. Oh, come on. Alright, so if I go in here and I add a shelf, already with a wall and one shelf, we have a good start. So, you know, over here, add my desk. my desk when I walk in and then I think I had a couple plants when you get home you're gonna be hungry so maybe you're gonna want to plant there you know maybe one kind of absent. going this way and so you may notice the way the mechanics works with, with placing things that that plant was able to be placed just by a hair um, so when you're building, um, you know, just be patient with it and uh, wiggle it around, move it around. Um, this didn't happen instantly for me and it took me a while just to remake this space and figure out how the hell I did it the first time. So, uh, thanks everyone for watching. If you've made it this far, please consider liking and subscribing to the video. And it helps the channel grow and I'm on the road to a thousand subscribers. So, let's move on to the next section here still kind of open uh, it doesn't have a lot of purpose uh, so let's put in a, another section here and we'll make this area the room or the office for the uh, aquarium
All right, so we have a partition there. And in mine, in my old base, let's see here. I have a desk here. Here I had a small aquarium for fish. Alright, and now we're gonna wanna uh, build a bedroom. This is where I had the bedroom in my old base, so um, you know this is gonna be just kind of research area for the aquarium. And you know, I might put some you know pictures or or something up on, or decorations on those shelves, and we'll add a wall right here. And we'll add our door. So that's the bedroom. And you know, your bedroom, you're gonna design it however you want. I think I just kinda what I do, I just I made the bed and then I added some shelves. Some of that shelves, some posters, and then I think one of these, and then some pictures. So my bedroom is really not um, the main focus. It's gonna have decorations from the buildings I clear and loot I get, um, and then over here it might just be pictures of cool stuff that I've seen and taken pictures of while out exploring. So that's it for the bedroom there. That's a done deal. Now we're going to block off this section here to build the kitchen. It's up to you how wide you want this. I think I just made it too wide. And I put a partition here. And we're breaking this up into two sections. Uh, one is going to be kind of the area where you're going to you know, hang out over here and eat. And the other one's going to be where you're going to be making food and, and doing all that. So um, let's put the sinks in. So you're going to be washing hands over here. And getting food. So then we'll put one of these right here. Or wait a second, I think I put it on this side. I do, it is late. All right, so now um, let's take a look at this. So you're gonna walk into your kitchen, in your house, you're gonna wash your hands, grab something to eat out of the fridge, you're gonna come over here, make it, grab something to drink, and then have uh, just, what is the vending machines over here? 
Let's put the vending machine right here. And then, I mean, it's some trash can probably. When you're done eating. And then, you know, I think I put some plants on the walls over here to kind of make it look a little nicer when you're meet, when I'm eating. And then I just added a couple chairs. So. Yeah, so you know that's what it would look like, and you can do it however you're gonna do it. Um, those are just, you know, that's just the layout that I had in the previous video. If you were interested and you like that one, this is kind of how I did it. And then one thing that I didn't have unlocked in that video, which I have unlocked in this one, is this little stove top here. Um, so I don't know if any of you guys have seen this this trick, but. Um, if you line up the stove, let's just say we start right there, right there, and then just move the cursor, just or the you know joystick or whatever, just directly down until it turns green or whatever, you can place it. Oh, it's because I'm in the way. Yeah, it's because I was in the way. All right, so if I just back up, there we go. Move directly over with the other uh, joystick to line these up. And now I'm going to go straight forward. Oops, my thumbs aren't that steady. Alright, oops, oh my gosh. So there we go. So it kind of looks like a big stove top now, essentially. Or like a regular stove, or four burners. All right, so let's move on um, to the bathroom. And the bathroom had a toilet right over here. And then I had the shower in here. I think I just lined it up at the back. Now, when I put the shower in here, I was like, gosh, that's just seems like a lot of room for this. Let's fill this up with some cool stuff. So I put the table here. Let's see how I do that. Did you guys see it turn green? So we might have to get rid of this one first. Put the table. All right, so the table's there. Let's put the shower in there. Okay, then I put, I think, a little faucet in here. Right there. Okay, and then I just put some shelving, so and some flowers. So these posts right here, you can mount on these. So I put one there, and then I came over here and I put one over here, and then I just put some decoration on it at that point, so that you can see what it would look like. Let's see. So see how it, you have to be very careful as you do it, because otherwise it'll just kick you right off the platform. Mm -hmm. So there you go. That's what the bathroom looks like. And then what, I think I had some flowers in there. So let's, I think I just put those right on the wall. Yeah. So these just go right over here. So, you know, yours, straighten yours out, um, make it look nice. Those are just kind of put down quick so that I can show people and get this video rolling. And let's move on to the grow room.
wisdom and creative is out there, why find boring? Put the lid on this one with glass. I'm gonna just move out here, throw it on there. And then that one's the grow room. <clears throat> and then and this one you can also put some support underneath it. And that'll be for growing plants and you can put you know a light on it and everything. it off with the glass and let's see here if you guys want me to do that you guys can probably do that let's go on to how to power this guy all right so there's two thermal vents down here that later you're gonna be utilizing okay and I went down here already while I was tinkering around trying to figure out how I even built that base and I played, I planted a few of these, okay? So let's just see if I can do this for you here. I'll disconnect them all. I only put one down here. Or, yeah, just one. So let's see. All right. So you're gonna get down here, see these vents. Uh, these thermal uh, vents here are gonna be like super nice to get your base fully powered and uh, super easy to get the energy right up there. So let's just put one down here because there's gonna be like seven of them or however many you're gonna have. And you're gonna wanna try to build it so that it gradually climbs up to the top of that one. So I'm gonna put one right here and see if I can put it like up top. Okay, so now I got one. All right, now we're gonna move on to right here. All right, and now in this example, it's just going straight through there, but you're gonna, it's probably not gonna do that. So you're gonna put one over here And then that one will go straight up to your base. Alright, so let's go check it out and make sure that the base has power. Okay, so here's one more over here. And then see. So it looks like it's giving us power to this guy, which we do not want that. So let's this rod right here. And that didn't work. So let's put... See what happens when we take this down. Where does it go? There's nowhere. So let's put one right here. Now we have power. And that's how I got that set up. So 
So leave a question down below in the comments if you have any more questions <clears throat> about how I kind of got this thing set up and, and going. Um, let's see here. Did I even finish the whole thing? Let's make sure I finished the whole thing. And then of course you're gonna want to, put, you know, have this whole thing covered in glass. Um, and in mine, I had this one, which was a reinforced one. So I had reinforcements, I think, on that one, and the bottom one down below as well. All right, now we'll go here. wraps it up if you have um, questions like I said you know leave them in the comments below if you like the video you know please consider subscribing and, and liking it. it helps my channel grow and I'll just do a quick little run around here on what it looks like after it's done Monsters, they're still close, but um, they're not around. Thanks for watching, everybody.